You're watching Teen Talk with Jane Marks. Time now for Teen Talk with family therapist Jane Marks. Good morning, Jane. How are you? Oh, just fine. The weather's great. It's going to be a beautiful day. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk some Teen Talk now. And the question that you received is, I have two teenage girls with very different money managing styles. One spends every penny that she gets. The other holds on to every penny. I would like to teach more balance when it comes to money management. So what money tips do you share with financially dependent teenagers? And that's the key, financially dependent teenagers. Parents nowadays have so many issues that they've got to cover that sometimes the money talks are clearly overlooked. But according to a recent survey, high school seniors received an average score of only 48% when asked basic questions about finances. Even if parents teach everything they know about good financial information, you're not sure that your teenagers really know the answers. So where do you start? We always talk about having the money conversation or having the conversation and encourage goal setting. Talk to your teens about whether their goals are for, what their goals are for their money and how they plan to use it. Does your teen know how to establish a limited budget? The key word is limited. Teens need to know that money is finite. Help them to create a budget that allows them the things that are important to them or prioritize the possibility uh, you know, of the unexpected expenses. Help them to prioritize their use of money. For the teen who is saving her money, teach the value of saving early. That's a smart thing, so you can tell your teen teenager, look, this is a good job and this is a foundation for the future. Teach money management by modeling responsible and balanced behavior yourself parents remember we have to be careful about sending mixed messages we can't spend you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars on prom, prom activities or we hear these stories about the sweet 16 parties can't do that um, establish bank accounts walk through it it is very easy for you know, to do it on the internet, the internet. However, that I have found that when you take your teenager down to the bank, it gives them a hands-on experience. Many banks allow high school students to open an account with no minimum balance that offers fee forgiveness for the first overdraft. And it is a very important thing to establish engaged relationships with your banker. Have the conversation on the use of credit cards and the debt trap. For many seniors coming out of high school, they will be exposed very quickly to credit card acquisition. They need to have a full and complete understanding of credit card uses and abuses. Have a conversation about taxes, parents. Teens who earn money will have, probably have to pay taxes, and they need to know about W-2s, 1040s, 1099s. And if you don't know it yourself, there is an IRS website. It's at irs.gov. It would be good for you and your teenagers to review it together. Establish rules about... Uh, Parental bailout, when you have a teenager who is just beginning financial responsibility, and particularly if you have established a bank account, you better know exactly what those rules are, and so does your teen before you begin this process. Stress the confidentiality of personal and family finances. Teach about recurring bills in the household, monthly mortgages, rents, utilities. This shows the use of money in your own family. This also includes unanticipated expenses. For example, what happens if the car breaks down or the washing machine breaks down and you don't have the income? How do you propose to secure this? Kids need to understand the process. Um, your identity and your own financial goals, you know, break it down to them. Use the concept of learning the money from money mistakes. You know, it's important that you share with them your personal mistakes. Use muscle memory. Start building financial muscle memory so that they are familiar with what works in your family and what doesn't work in your family. Talking about financial issues early at does so many things. It's, it establishes financial responsibility for the future. It makes your teens financially ready for the future. And how many parents out there have said money does not grow on trees? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? A concept we have grown up with. Mm -hmm. And even young kids, you know, starting off with that piggy bank. It's just starting off, you know, at such a young age and then these, as a teenager, when they start wanting that independence. Right. And you want to be careful about the, spree, the extremes because this parent who wrote in says, you know, she had one teenager who was doing one extreme and one and the other. So what you want to talk about is balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. financial balance. Absolutely. You can find these tips by going to our website, WTXL.TV. Look under the Teen Talk section. I'll be posting that later on today. Jane, thanks for joining us this morning. It was fun.